<laughs> so, so this time I, I, I brought this cello, uh, it's from my private collection, uh, this is a 1735, from the year 1735, uh, from, the, from Venice, Italy. Uh, it's by a maker of uh, Francesco Cofriller. Cofriller is actually the father of its Venetian violin making. It's like the Stradivarius of Venice. Um, there's two rivals back then. There was Stradivarius or there was Cofriller. Depends on which area that you were in. So this is the, the work of his son. Uh, and uh, the, I, I, have, I also have the, the work of his father at home resting. Um, and the bow that I'm using today is actually from 1820. Uh, 30, and it's one of the last bows from the notorious maker Francois Xavier Tour, which was modernized the modern bow today. So he was the inventor of the Baroque to the modern bow. So it is one of the most prestigious bow on the planet. And um, so I, I'm so happy that this cello and this bow is here with me. And as I was telling the gentleman before, uh, I'm about to play Bach Suite for you, number one. Bach lived from 1685 to 1750. So this cello was made in 1735. So might be a chance that this cello had met Bach before and is here in Taipei playing what Bach wrote and what Bach heard potentially for you. So let's start with that. So let's start with the box suite number one. And box suite number one is in G major. It has six movements. So I will, I will uh, introduce a little bit by a little bit. So I'll sit down first. Does anybody know much about box suite? OK. <laughs> I can see we're all diplomats here. <laughs> box wrote these suites were called dances. And there are so many, there, there are many movements over there. But I, what I love about the most is that each dance has, each suite has different movements describing almost like the sequence of what the dance going to a party is all about. So the first movement, I'm sure you all have heard about it before, is called the prelude. So the prelude to this party that I'm about to take you to, it starts with getting ready, getting dressing up, getting your horse carriages ready, and you could probably hear the clocking sound of the horse going through the cobblestones. So anyway, so this is the prelude movement to the box suite number one in G major. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as we arrived, all of the guests arrived. Now is for the host of the dance, of the party, and it could be a baron, could be a king, has to make an announcement, has to make a report, because back then, there's no internet, no email, so people don't know what's going on. So the, the king or the host have to say, well, this year the crop this, or my daughter got married, or who passed away. So in this alamon, this next movement, you will hear a lot of speech-like with the punctuations of commas and exclamation points, question marks. Uh, so this is called the alum. <laughs> dance begin. So, so this the first dance is in three. One, two, three. It's called the courant. One, two, three, one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. So the next dance belongs to the guest. No, actually, the, the host. So the host I'm imagining here is a bit elderly, you know? So they want to dance the slower dance. The next one is called the courant. The courant has section one and section two. So the way that the courant works, or sometimes in a later time it became the minuet, and it becomes courant one, courant two. And so but after the courant two, it comes back to the one again. So I always like to imagine that, you know, during this dance, there is the men that could also dance among themselves and the women dance among themselves. So it was very interesting to use your imagination to see why there was Quran 1 and 2 and come back. And so this is how it goes in this piece, okay? <laughs> Everybody had a great time. You guys having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So at the end of the night, everybody got to join in on this dance. Everybody. Okay? So it's always in one, one, and then one, and then. Especially, I'm, I'm Taiwanese, also. So, anyway, this is my transcription arrangement of a piece called Longing for the Spring Wind, Wang Chun Feng. So I play this all over the world, um, on stages, Carnegie and everywhere, uh, but it's never been so special to be able to play here in Taipei for all of you, right here in NIT. It's, it's kind of special. So. Um, so this is it. You know, being a New Yorker um, and being an American, I, I miss being home. I miss being in New York right now, especially what's happening, what's about to happen in a few hours. <clears throat> but I always say to myself and to my colleagues, says, no matter what happens, God will be there for us. And I thank God every day for giving me this opportunity to play my cello all over the world and being able to share my uh, musical journey with many, many people that uh, perhaps just brush me, you know, just brush by that I get to say hi and never see them again. But it's this amazing grace that I always cherish no matter where I go. 
So here, it's a very, very short version of my Amazing Grace. <laughs> I promise Wanda that I will be a, it will be a short concert. So, but I, I think I am going to end today's concert, the last piece, with something that is very meaningful for me, and I think for everybody who is sitting here right now, as an American, and as an American, I'm so proud that wherever, um, wherever we are, we represent American. And what American stands for? The value, liberty, and justice. So, if you don't mind joining me, would you please all stand? And we will, we will listen to the Star Spangled Banner.